Good morning, everybody. So I've been up since about 3.30 this morning. <clears throat> and uh, there was something that was going on outside that woke me up. And it got me thinking about what I want to tell you and talk to you about today. Um, today I want to talk to you about when you see something, say something. Because it builds trust. When you see something, say something. Because it builds trust. Um, I've been... I'm contracted by this company and I deliver all sorts of different types of trainings. I got another one that I'm actually delivering tomorrow that I have to write today. <clears throat> and um, one of the things I've been talking a lot about when it comes to the work from home environment is building trust with your employees and how you actually go about doing that. <clears throat> trust is something that can be built, but it can also be destroyed. But it's something that can be rebuilt as well. But when you're rebuilding, it's a long road to hoe. Okay. So, there's a couple of tricks and tips that I want to share with you on how you can build trust. And one thing is like when I said, you see something, you say something because that builds trust. When people see that they, you have confidence enough to say something that moves a lot of obstacles out of your way when it comes to the eyes of your employees completely. Okay. People respect leaders who stand up for what's right. Now, I'm not talking about a, a political or geopolitical scenario. I'm talking about something that's occurring in the workplace or that's happening with a particular employee and somebody is standing up and saying, that is not right. This has to fix. This has to be fixed. This has to go. This is a problem. Yeah, people respect uh, leaders or people. You, you know, if you're in HR, you're a leader. You are a leader, whether you want to consider yourself that or not. You're a leader, right? So they do respect for anybody who stands up for something that's right. They appreciate authenticity and intent, genuine intent. They absolutely appreciate that. Trust me, they know the difference between and Shinola, just like we do. Okay, everybody knows that difference for the most part. And they appreciate it. They want to see it. That's what they need. And if you really want to know the best tip of all, is that you need to confront reality. And there's so many leaders out there that are afraid to do so because they're afraid to lose an employee or they're afraid that they're going to wind up losing sales if they get rid of the most problematic individual, who, by the way, is the top seller in the company. Well, guess what? You get rid of a top seller in your company and you have done a good job at grooming your other individuals, somebody's going to rise to be the top seller in the company again. You're going to have another one in a very short period of time. And maybe because, you know, the bad stuff is out of the way. And if you don't have that person that's grooming up and you have somebody who you really need to get rid of, then you know what? Bring somebody else in, groom that person, get rid of the problematic person. And now you have a top salesperson all over again. All right. Stop overthinking it and stop being afraid of stuff like that. All right. You know, avoid skirting the hard problems. If you skirt the hard problems, people are going to see it. And that's that's either if you're in HR or if you're you know an entrepreneur, you're on your own business. People are going to see that. Okay, have the hard, honest discussions with your people, not beating them down, not telling them that they're full of crap or that they're the worst employee that you've ever hired. And I think that that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is help me understand why this why you coming in late every single day is problematic for you, because realistically, I got to learn to shut that thing off. Realistically, it's not my problem. My problem is addressing it. Your problem is fixing it. I need to know what you're going to do to get here on time every day. What is it going to take for you to get here on time every single day, right? Have those hard, honest discussions with people. It's okay. But you know, when you're doing it, you know, make sure that you're being very clear about what you expect. Be very clear. Never, 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 ever believe that your expectations are assumed or presumed. I rhymed. Did you see that? A little assumed and presumed. Don't do that. That's not good. All right. People need to be led. They want to be led. They want to hear what you expect. And sometimes we're a little thick skulled. <laughs> you have to kind of tap them a little bit and remind them what your expectations are. Constantly reinforce your expectations. If you do that, people are going to step in line. People are going to develop. They're going to build uh, the path forward that you need them to build. They're going to go down that road and they're going to bring the results that you need. So that's what I got for you guys today. See something, 
say something because it builds trust. I'll talk to y'all later.